All right. So what production terminal is is it's you know designed for the guys, uh, you know, pe for people working in, in production that don't aren't really involved in the order entry, estimate entry process, uh, things like that. Just need to know sort of you know where a job is as it moves as it moves through the production process. You know, entering in part labor usage, equipment usage, uh, and things like that. So we'll go ahead and log into production terminal. All right, and what you'll see when you log in is uh, some, your screen with you know any jobs in production right now uh, going across, uh, sort through. Oh, that's actually I don't know why that's there. Refresh that. Um, all your jobs in production. Uh, scrolling through, uh, I can select things like that, and we'll we'll start up at the top the time clock uh, when someone logs in. And just because I logged in as myself, you can still select another user. I'll leave it on me just for for this purpose. Select an item, uh, clock on to a part, a station, uh, to see how much time how much time is being spent on that on that line item uh, in the in the process. Uh, this job monitoring button right here, uh, this allows a user, uh, say Kyle, who's working on, has multiple jobs assigned to him. Uh, if he finishes up two and want, needs to move them both to a uh, scheduled delivery, he can do that. Uh, instead of having to go through and do it one by one, select both. You know, separate by order, estimate, service tickets as well. Uh, line item station, this allows you to sort by li uh, line item station. Uh, if you only want to see jobs that are in the design design station, click on design and it'll pull up those particular jobs. I'll go back to any uh, assigned to. Uh, if you want to see any jobs that are assigned to you or anyone else in production, I'll select myself. And you'll see any jobs that have been assigned to you, clock in and out, edit, things like that. And then also if you if you do happen to know the particular order number off the top of your head, you can enter it in there. All right, uh, just below that, you'll see the filter. Uh, it's just various different options if you want to fill by, filter by completed or not, not completed, completed, uh, jobs that are in whip, built. You know, typically you're not going to want sales or closed orders uh, to show as this is production terminal and it's, you know, for the jobs that are currently in production. Uh, orders, estimates, service tickets, if you need to sort by the salesperson for your company, order level stations. Uh, same thing as uh, up at the top, because this is in a line item station uh, based uh, company name, due dates, uh, a bunch of different options for for that. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll pick an order with, let's find an order with a bunch of parts. Oh. Here we go. All right, and this is, you know, the real feature, the, the, main, the main deal is, uh, you know, posting part usage. So if you go in, it's estimated at uh, three, roughly three tenths of an hour, but it actually takes, you know, half an hour. This is where you can go in, add uses, and these these changes are reflected uh, immediately in control. Uh, once it's posted, you can go, actually go into control and and see the actual usage and you know everything that is being posted. All right, over here, this is just your uh, your layout detail. If you click on it, uh, it'll make it a little larger for you. This is what this is pulling from is your product layouts, you know, what's being printed on your estimates and invoices that are being sent out to your clients and then also what's being printed out on the work order that's, you know, to for internal for production use. And if you don't want to see this, you can just click the little details button and it'll hide it for you. Line item notes, you know, anything that's internal only, that's uh, production notes, that anything necessary that you know, the you know, people working in production are going to need to need to see to get the job done. Company information, uh, that company just this happens to be the the, the walk-in customer. Uh, going across the top up here, it's being sorted by line item number, as you can see. You can have any four fields going across right here. You can't add any, but if you click the little blue arrow, you can separate by if you want to leave the product station. If you don't want the description to show, you'd rather priority if you have that selected and all of these can be changed to you know whatever your personal preference is due date uh, anything all right um, well you know as this is uh, you know a pretty oh and also you can uh, 
uh, different filter by different details uh, over here if you want to see uh, shipping info. And it'll add that for you as well. So, oh, and you can pin this so it'll stop <laughs> moving back and forth as you just saw. Um, like I said, this is, you know, it's real simple, real straightforward, easy to use. Good, 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 definitely a good way to uh, track jobs as they do go through production um, uh, to see, you know, how much time is being spent and how much actual usage is being put towards uh, those particular jobs. Okay, and uh, also, uh, just while, while I'm in here, I kind of forgot to uh, run through this. If you click on a line item, uh, you know, just, you'll see the line item station. It can easily be changed from production printing, you know, installation and process. Uh, if it's a high priority, uh, change, change the order status if need be, order station as well. And, you know, very, and if uh, um, need the assigned to person needs to be changed right here. And if you're using uh, progressive billing, uh, you can the percent complete uh, of the job as it moves through, and then also if it's completed, check, save. You know, like I said, real real simple, real straightforward. Uh, great great tool for uh, you know tracking jobs as they do move through production. So uh, thank you guys for coming.